Well, Happy Easter! Thank you for joining us for our Easter Sunday service. Today I have the great privilege to share with you my Easter message. So Happy Easter! How's that chocolate overload going? In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 3 and 4, Paul is speaking and he says this, For what I received I passed on to you, as of first importance, that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day according to the Scriptures. It's quite clear to me that Jesus died was buried and was raised to life, for death has been defeated. Let us celebrate Jesus, for Jesus is alive. It's Easter. As Jesus walked the earth, he did not have a ministry of, oh, no, no, no. Stop that. I know what you did. I know what you're thinking. He didn't point the finger, but he stretched out his arms and welcomed people home. The cross equals love. We need to model Jesus' standards to the world, to share his message of hope, to share his words, to be an example, to go out into all the world and preach his gospel. We all know someone who is lost. We all know someone who needs to have a faith in Jesus Christ. And if we don't, that's very sad. Sad that you don't know people who are far away from God. For Jesus will set you free. In 1 Corinthians 15, Paul continues on in verse 5. And that he appeared to Cephas, and then to the twelve. After that he appeared to more than 500 of the brothers and sisters at the same time, most of whom are all still living, though some have fallen asleep. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles, and last of all he appeared to me also, as one abnormally born. 500 people saw Jesus, saw our resurrected Saviour. People want to say that the resurrection didn't happen. They love to say that they just thought it was Jesus or, or they were mistaken or, or maybe it just looked like him. 500 people won't be wrong. Here's a joke for you today. The children were all lined up at the canteen at St. Patrick's School for Lunch. At the head of the table was a large pile of beautiful, crunchy, shiny apples. The nun in charge had made a sign and put it in front of the apples that said, Take only one, God is watching. Moving further along the lunch line, at the other end of the table was a large pile of double chocolate chip cookies. A child had written a sign as well. Take all you want. God's watching the apples. Friends, God sees you today. And today we are reminded once again that he is alive. In John chapter 20, verses 1 to 8, Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the entrance. So she came running to Simon Peter and the other disciples, the one who Jesus loved, and said, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb. We don't know where they've put him. So Peter and the other disciples started for the tomb. Both were running, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent over and looked in at the strips of linen lying there, but he did not go in. 
Then Simon Peter came along behind him and went straight into the tomb. He saw the strips of linen lying there, as well as the cloth that had been wrapped around Jesus' head. The cloth was still lying in its place, separated from the linen. Finally, the other disciple, who had reached the tomb first, also went inside. He saw and believed. Saw and believed. For the tomb is empty. The cross gives me hope. The empty tomb proves that Jesus is alive. Friends, Jesus is not a way to God. He is the only way. If the church spent more time telling the world Jesus is alive, rather than you don't measure up, we would make a greater impact. Easter gives us hope. In John chapter 20, Verse 26 to 28. A week later, his disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Isn't that a message for today? Isn't that a message for the times that we live in? Peace be with you. Wherever you are today, peace be with you. And he said to Thomas, put your fingers here. See, see my hands, reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Then Thomas said, my Lord and my God. What about you this Easter? What do you say? Do you say Jesus is my Lord and my God? Jesus is all that I am. Without him I am nothing. With him I can, without him I can do nothing. Without him my life counts for nothing. I can do all things because he gives me life. His death replaces my death. He is my hope. He is my joy. He is my salvation. My Lord and my God. The stone was not rolled away in order for Jesus to get out of the tomb. It was rolled away so that others could see inside the tomb and know that he is not dead, but alive. Let us celebrate the risen Jesus this Easter. May he be our hope and our positive confession that he is indeed our Lord and our God. God bless you. Amen.